Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear students, dear scholars. Uh, hope you all uh, will be fine and shine. This is Mr. Bilal Khan, and uh, today we are going to have another new video on SPSS. Uh, so uh, you can see the sample data in front of you. So uh, in this video lecture, we are going to learn about the uh, how to check the reliability analysis for individual variable. Uh, in your research for example if you are having uh, one dependent variable and one independent variable so for dependent variable you check uh, reliability analysis of cron batches or cron box alpha test separately and then for the independent variable you check uh, again the reliability analysis or uh, you can say the cron batches or cron box alpha test uh, in your research for the independent variable uh, separately so the data set which is provided to you people here you can see if we uh, want to uh, conduct for example reliability analysis or cron box alpha test for the individual variable uh, independent and dependent variable separately uh, so you have to go to the analyze section and in analyze section you have to come to the scale so some of the people might be having uh, like uh, uh, one dependent variable and uh, two independent variable there might be some people who are who might be having more than two independent variables more than one dependent variable so the same process can be followed for all uh, the variables in uh, in your uh, list for independent and dependent variables you have in your research so for example uh, if you see here here you can see IC. IC represents in this research the individual creativity and PE represents the psychological empowerment. So psychological empowerment is independent variable in this research while in IC it represents or it is a dependent variable individual creativity is dependent variable in this research. So what will you do? You have to come to the questions uh, you asked in your questionnaire for the individual creativity and for the for example uh, independent variable like psychological empowerment so m1 uh, like m1 2 3 4 5 this is one dimension of psychological empowerment c is the second dimension of psychological empowerment s is the third di uh, dimension of psychological empowerment and i is the uh, fourth dimension of psychological empowerment so we can say that uh, uh, these questions are actually asked for the uh, dimensions for the dimensions of psychological empowerment independent variable so all the questions regarding a single variable should be brought here to the item section and nothing changes you have to make in the uh, statistics sections just close it and just run or you can say uh, uh, just press ok button so let me press ok button here you can see uh, i have got uh, the reliability analysis or statistics or cron box uh, alpha value so the number of questions is 20 and the cron box alpha value is 0.913 which is a very good figure and this figure means that your questionnaire are the questions you included in your questionnaire for measuring the value of psychological empowerment which is independent variable in your research means they are reliable they are very good uh, and you can uh, rely or you can uh, make decisions upon the responses you receive for that uh, questionnaire so this is one thing uh, you have got for the independent variable psychological empowerment now come towards analyze section again and then in analyze you have to select the scale and reliability so these questions should be brought back to the main section here and you can come below and the individual creativity the questions you asked or you placed in your questionnaire for measuring individual creativity or dependent variable etc or another variable etc so they are ic 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 so it means like 20 questions are asked for individual creativity measurement so again you have to bring these questions towards the item sections here 
and then uh, you have to run uh, the Cronbox alpha test like uh, press OK button so you can see here the number of questions for the uh, independent variable for the dependent variable etc they are like uh, for example uh, Cronbox uh, uh, value is 0 0.927 for the number of questions 20 so you can make a table for it in the uh, ms word or you can make another table in the excel sheet and you can uh, calculate the variables for example let me give you an example here like uh, if i take for example if i open uh, uh, suppose a file and in this file if i make like a table so you can see here, uh, 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 I, will, I would like to insert the table here, so this might be, uh, so the first column should represent the variable, the second column the uh, items and the third column for the Cronbox alpha test. So here you can write, you can give a title like variable and the second you can uh, uh, write items, items represent questions, okay and uh, Cronbox value. So in this section you have to Cronbox, you have to write the Cronbox value. Just you can uh, uh, you can bold these terminologies, bring them to the centers. Now the first variable was what I uh, individual creativity, individual, or you can write uh, psychological empowerment. Psychological you can write PE which means psychological empowerment in the second you can write for example uh, let me extend this table because uh, the dimensions for the uh, psychological empowerment are actually four so like uh, M1 and M2 Then you have uh, suppose uh, M5, sorry, M5. Same like that, if you see here, there are some other uh, items used for the uh, psychological empowerment. So M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, and then C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. And so uh, you can write here like uh, uh, C1. C2, C3, C4, C5 and then you can check for example uh, for uh, another variable here so S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 so this is another dimension uh, of you can say S1, S, uh, S2, S3, S4 and S5 like that and the same like that you can see you can have uh, uh, another dimension for the uh, psychological empowerment that is i1 i2 i3 i5 etc so in this section you can write i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 so these are the uh, dimension now here you can write for example individual creativity individual creativity which is you can say the dependent variable in this research I see here so how many dimensions are here so I see uh, I see one I see two I see three I see four I see five I see uh, six I see seven and you can count it till uh, 20. I see 20. So these are the variables. Now you, you can merge all these, uh, uh, what uh, you can say columns or rows, whatever. Now here, this is, uh, this can be brought uh, down like uh, home. So you can also. Uh, 
for example ha, you can set you can also uh, develop the cron box values for the individual items right here for m uh, from uh, m1 till m5 uh, for the c uh, for example c1 till c5 and s1 till s5 and the same like that for i1 till i5 but if you are not going to calculate the separate uh, reliability analysis for the individual dimension of the variable then you can merge all these columns and you can just write the real value for the uh, for the uh, psychological empowerment you have developed so 20 items and you can see here the value for the 20 items of psychological empowerment is what 0.913 so you can write here 0 0.0.913 etc now this is a technique you can uh, write it uh, like in the middle of uh, uh, let me let me let me find out yes here it is yes it is okay now yes like that so you can see here this is a very good table you can make for your own variables and your research so this is the individual creativity and you can bring it to the middle of the section uh, so from uh, from the SPSS the reliability analysis for the uh, individual creativity you have uh, calculated here which is uh, you can see individual creativity is also measured with 20 items and the value from plan, for uh, plan box alpha is 0 0.927 0 point, uh, 0 0.927 you can also bring it to the middle of the uh, page uh, sorry uh, to the column or to the section etc now here you can easily see how beautiful it looks like so this is called the reliability analysis are uh, checking cron box alpha uh, value for the individual variables in your research now if you have more than one independent variable are more than one in a dependent variable then you can this you can use the same process for your own research so i hope this uh, uh, lecture this video lecture will be very beneficial for you inshallah in the future we will uh, make uh, some more video lectures for you too to make research process research thesis writing or research papers writing easier for you thank you so much for giving me attention